We need a wisp now. He'd lead you astray. He'd come in the form of a light. And you're following the light. Now that time there was no lights or anything along the road. Everything was completely pitch dark. And you follow the light and he'd lead you astray. And you'd have to stay wherever you were all night, wherever he'd lead you to. The next morning, you get bright, you see where you are. <laughs> We often heard tell Willie the Wisp, but did indeed. Wisp, yeah. And in the winter time, you see this big ball of fire that's round, so round about, about that size. And they go rolling all the up and down and down and right across. One end of the, up to here, I'd see him in the yeah. night, yeah. And they said it was some kind of a... Bird, was it? No, it wasn't a bird. It was something to come out of a bog. You see, I forget that. You'd remember when you'd be told that. It was something to do with whatever was in the bog, I think. But it was a ball, oh, you like. Mm. And it would go round and round and round. It wouldn't be up very high. And you see, it travelled across the bog, I don't know how far. It must have went away up, up maybe up to Eden Bell or somewhere. I don't know mm. where it went. Yeah. Yeah, there was another one, Jackie the Lantern. Did you ever hear the I just had him just behind. Yeah, well, they reckon if you go in the field, in a field, and he's, his light is around there, do you know what I mean? That you will not get out of that field till the daylight come in the morning. You can't find the gate. No. You'll keep going around. But I did see them lights, you know, when I was a youngster, but I was scared, do you know what I mean? I'd be scared, you know, to... I used to even go on my tippy toes when I was a youngster, be this house. It was supposed to be hunted, yeah. you know, and to tell you, you know, when you go around, you know, to those old farmer's place and that, you know, for winter's evening and that. Oh, they got so-and-so, I'll be back tonight. This is the birthday. This, they're dead now 20 odd years, you know. And yeah. Today is the birthday to be back. And just I'd be going home, you know, along with that house and I go on my tippy toes, you know. I'm thinking that they're alive in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Nearly 20 years ago, I wasn't living around here. I was living down in a place called Ratzella, Allenstown. And my wife, God rest her, was with me that time, a little girl. And I used to walk, go out of a Sunday night, like down Fars Camas, for a drink. So this night I went out and I took out the car. And I come around the, the corner of the house. And I was looking out up, up over Carrick Burn, like I thought. I see this big ball of fire in the sky. And it was real low, and I said, watching it. And I said, watching it, for surely I did, oh God, I did for a good ten minutes. And it was moving on, and it was as big as a balloon now, maybe. But it moved away off, way out, out, out over camera, so on out that way. And which is, I thought, wherever it went, I thought it went down. So I put no more pass on it, but I, I didn't tell my wife on it because she might be nervous and maybe I mightn't get to go for the drink. <laughs> but about two months after, or it could be three months. I was going out one night and my wife's cousin was in. I had proof of it this time, you see. I went out and I looked and I seemed to have come in the very same way. And I called them all out. And they seemed in the same as what I did. And it was going the very same direction. A big ball of fire, red as blood. And I went on the very, very same direction. We watched it and watched it. And it went, and which is weird, heart, it went down again. And I don't know what it ever was. So that was twice I seen, but I had proof the last time it wasn't because I had my neighbours in, like, and I had the bottom out to see it. <laughs>